Welcome to Ozarks Fox News at 9. I'm Jennifer Abreu. And I'm John Adams. These stories are real new now. President Trump and First Lady Melania greeting former President George W. Bush and his wife Laura during a private visit at the Blair House. The president called Mr. and Mrs. Bush, quote, remarkable for their elegance and precision since the death of former President George H.W. Bush. It appears former Kansas City Chiefs Kareem Hunt was involved in another violent incident. A police report says Hunt participated in an assault of a 37-year-old man at a Kansas City nightclub back in January. Six to eight people were also involved. The victim suffered a broken rib and nose. No charges were, were filed in that case. And back here locally, Springfield police have identified the man who died in a motorcycle crash last week. 23-year-old Dakota Randolph of Springfield was pronounced dead at the scene. Authorities say an SUV turned in front of his bike on Kansas Expressway. A passenger from the SUV was taken to the hospital with serious injuries. New at 9, it's been eight years in the making, but Springfield's new VA clinic is finally open for business. The clinic is now accepting patients for some temporary limited services. And today the clinic welcomed its two first physical therapy patients. Our Bria Douglas got a chance to meet one of them today. Bria, what can you tell us about them? John and Jen, Robert Stell is an 81-year-old non-combat Army veteran who was thankful he doesn't have to travel to Mount Vernon or Arkansas anymore for his medical needs. Well, it's a whole different world. Mount Vernon is not that far away, but still in bad weather and stuff, it was hard to get there and back. And now it's more convenient. Naturally, they have this fantastic facility they put together here. It's, I really appreciate it. The clinic will be fully operating by the end of December. It will offer primary care, mental health help, lab work, radiology, endoscopy, and dental care, just to name a few of the services. The clinic is expected to serve 17,000 veterans in one year, averaging 200 per day. VA Public Affairs Officer Wanda Scholl explains after an eight-year process what this day finally means. I think it's very monumental. I mean, we had our first patients today in the clinic. The move is ongoing, but as the services are ready to see patients, we're getting that process started so that we can get things moved over. And it's been a day that a lot of people have been excited about, so we were happy to walk in the door and see patients here for the first time. Now, Bria, as we heard from Robert, um, he doesn't have to travel anymore, so I imagine this clinic is a relief, not just for him, but for many other vets like him. Yeah, Robert said, especially when the weather's bad, the new, convenient is, the new clinic is much more convenient for him and a lot of other veterans in our area. Good timing because we're about to get some weather. Absolutely. Here. All right, well, thank you, Bria. Thank you. Bria, thank you. Well, new information to report tonight. We now know the name of the man who was killed in a crash after a stolen vehicle pursuit. The Missouri State Highway Patrol says 23-year-old Dylan Philbeck was fleeing officers shortly after 7 this morning when he ran a red light and struck an SUV. Both vehicles overturned. Philbeck and a female passenger were partially ejected. The woman suffered moderate injuries. Sergeant Jason Pace with the Highway Patrol says officers recognized the stolen car on the road, and that's when the chase began. They were actually coming to a coming to a stop where he began to initiate the traffic stop, uh, activate his emergency equipment, and at that time the vehicle then fled, traveling across the southbound lanes of Glenstone. The driver of the other vehicle, a 36-year-old woman, also suffered serious injuries. Rescue crews continue their search tonight for a missing couple whose SUV was whisked into a lake in Harrison, Arkansas during last weekend's severe storms. One man who watched in horror what happened shared with us what he saw. But the whole thing lasted about 15 seconds. Dive teams and canine units searched today for John and Amy Valines. The Valines owned a well-known lock and key shop in town. Patrick Thompson knew John Valines and unfortunately witnessed the incident, which happened right across the street from his home. When the car got right to here, where that indention in the bank is, uh, the front of the car hit that started backing down and it backed all the way down into that corner. And after that, you couldn't see it because of the height of the water. That, that's what I'm praying for, is God touches the morning and grieves and lifts their spirit. We have searched the upper part numerous times. Uh, we're going back up today. We're going to do another search. Assistant Fire Chief Darrell Pace says he believes the wall of water was too quick and caught the couple off guard. 